hello guys welcome to my channel today we will see the third uh, tutorial from the statistical analysis in arcgis pro in the last two videos we have seen how to use the uh, hotspot in the outer layer analysis in order to determine the area with highest and the lowest snap participation so today we will see uh, how to use space time uh, pattern mining tools in arcgis to determine the spatial and the temporal pattern of the data we are going to see uh, which area has highest and lowest uh, snap participation uh, over uh, 10 uh, years or for 10 uh, years we are going to check uh, the data collected from 2010 to 2009 for entire usa so here uh, we are going to to do two things today first we are going to create the space time cube in net cdf format then after we are going to use this uh, space time cube data to check the spatial and the temporal uh, pattern of the data so uh, when we say space time pattern uh, or space time pattern mining tools uses the statistics to incorporate the spatial and the temporal aspect of our data to help us understand it is the uh, spatial temporal trends and uh, the initial step in the space time pattern mining is just creating the space time cube first this space time cube aggregate our data into the multi-dimensional cube data or uh, net cdf data structure and uh, this cube this cube data aggregates the data into uh, space time bins with x and y dimension representing the space and uh, uh, the z dimension is representing the time uh, span so three tools in arcgis pro uh, in the space time pattern mining toolbox can be used to create the space time cube and uh, these tools uh, or the tools that we are going to use is depends upon our data and the spatial question there are three tools these are uh, space time cube uh, by aggregation point and the space time cube from uh, defined location and the space time cube from the multi-dimensional raster layer and uh, this tool uses for different purposes based on our question once we have created the space time cube using one of the three uh, tools we are going to run the space time pattern mining uh, using the uh, three again there are three pattern mining tools these are uh, emerging hotspot analysis tool local outlier uh, analysis tool and time times uh, time series clustering tools and uh, this also has the different application so for today we are going to use uh, the time space time cube uh, tool which is uh, uh, for defined location to analyze a fixed uh, location with attributes that changes over time so first we are going to create the space time cube data then after we are going to use the spatial uh, time pattern mining tools or which is emerging hotspot analysis tool to see the data uh, or to analyze the data in a spatial and temporal aspect so uh, first open your arcgis pro and i add your uh, data to the map here i have uh, uh, similarly using the usa uh, snap participation data which is collected for 2010 to 2019 here i have two uh, layers the first one is usa county it contains uh, the entire usa and snap participation uh, attribute data uh, for 2019 and i have another uh, attribute another layer which is uh, snap participation county rates from uh, which is collected from 2010 to 2019 so first we are going to relate these two uh, tables or join these two tables uh, and then create the uh, snap the space time cube so uh, once you have added your data uh, go to this uh, geoprocessing tool and search for create space time cube for uh, from defined location so here the window um, space time cube creation window appears and so for the input uh, feature add the usa county and uh, give the output name and the location 
so as uh, you can check from the the two datas we have unique id which is a unique uh, attribute table which exists in the in the two the layer so in the two attribute so you can see that there is uh, an attribute called the county id on the usa county and also for the we have uh, county id in the uh, snap county to for 2019 so we are going to relate these two tables using their common uh, your unique id so select the um, county id for the location id again uh, relate table will be the snap <coughs> snap count rate for which is collected from 2018 to 2000 2019 similarly uh, select the county id for the related location id so this will help us to uh, relate the two attributes first so this will create the net cdf format or space time cube and the next uh, uncheck this temporal aggregation for the time field select time of the year from uh, the two attributes And for the uh, time uh, step interval, select one. This make this one here. Payment as default. And for the variable field, add the uh, snap rate. We are going to analyze the snap participation rate. And for the field in PTB, we check this space time neighbors. So once you have filled all the uh, input, you can just run and create the space time cube uh, data in net CD format. So the tool creates a net CDF file that does not uh, display in the map, but it is uh, saved to the location that uh, you have saved on the output space time cube parameter. So you can find the file path uh, for the cube in the output space time cube parameter after running the tool. So the net CDF file format, which is network command data format is a file designed to support the the creation access and the sharing of multi-dimensional uh, scientific data so you can check the file on the directory once we have created this uh, space time uh, cube in netcd format then we are going to uh, run the we are going to run the uh, emerging hotspot analysis to check the spatial and the temporal pattern of this snap participation rate from 2010 to 2019 so uh, just go back to this uh, find the tool in the job processing tab and the search for uh, emerging hotspot analysis search for emerging uh, hotspot analysis then after uh, in the export in the input space time cube just add your uh, the space time cube you have created earlier go to your directory and uh, add the <coughs> nc or dot nc data which is net cdf data as input then our analysis variable will be the snap rate uh, space time neighbors from the uh, attribute of the net cdf file and uh, give the output name in the location and for the conceptualization of the spatial uh, relationship just select the fixed distance then after for the neighbor distance uh, similarly as uh, neighbor uh, hotspot in the outlier analysis you can use 75 and uh, unit will be in kilometer and uh, keep the special uh, the number of special neighbors as uh, default you can keep it uh, default yeah so then uh, 
we can uh, run the analysis and we, this will create the hotspot or emerging hotspot uh, analysis for this uh, multi-dimensional data so new data will be uh, added to the content tab from this we can check that there are uh, nine classes or uh, 16 classes which is eight for the hottest and uh, eight for the uh, cold spots we can uh, check that uh, the area in this uh, 2d visualization it shows that uh, new hotspot areas and uh, consecutive hotspot areas in different colors from this map you can analyze the area with highest uh, snap participation for entire uh, 10 years and also it shows the area with uh, historical cold spot areas and uh, uh, oscillating cold spot area with different colors so we can visualize the, this hotspot analysis using the 3d uh, time pattern mining or 3d visualization to do that uh, open uh, new look first you have to open the uh, 3d view or local 3d view once uh, you have opened the map go to this geoprocessing tool and uh, search for uh, visualize space time cube in uh, 3d uh, view or in three dimensional view then uh, in the input space time cube create or add your uh, space time cube you have created earlier and then uh, for the cube variable use uh, snap rate space time neighbors and for the display team use the hot and the code spot result and give the output name in the location finally uh, you can run the process similarly this creates the uh, 3d visualization of the uh, hot spot or uh, emerging hot spot analysis and uh, this shows uh, 10 bins for each counties containing a different value of snap participation for uh, different years you can check the uh, bins for uh, different years in uh, different location or for different location you have uh, You can uh, check the 3D map by rotating the entire USA around this one. You can see that there are higher uh, high low outliers in the red colors in the, the, the initial time step and the not significant uh, snap participation rate for uh, this area. Again, you have low high outliers. So these 3D views uh, or scenes view allow us to see the yearly value for the hotspots and uh, this information can provide additional insight into our data and that is based on uh, these patterns you can uh, investigate areas with uh, consecutive or emerging hotspots uh, to see uh, whether there are uh, the areas requires additional resources that can improve the access to the healthy food so uh, this is the way how we can use the emerging hotspot analysis in 3d view to check the area with uh, highest and the lowest uh, snap participation rate for different uh, years using uh, the space time cube and the space time data mining tools in arcgis pro so this is all about my today's tutorial. Uh, 
thank you for your uh, time and don't forget to subscribe to my channel see you in the next video